Well, we have some exclusive details uh, for you tonight related to the Russia probe. In a letter obtained by this show, an attorney who represents longtime Trump advisor Roger Stone has asked the White House to declassify any materials that would reveal whether Stone was spied upon by the FBI. There is some evidence that he was. And if he indeed was, he would, of course, join Carter Page and Paul Manafort as individuals connected to the Trump campaign who were spied on without their knowledge. So far, the White House has not commented on that letter. Michael Caputo is a former Trump campaign advisor, and he joins us tonight. Michael, thanks a lot uh, for coming on. So hey, this is a pretty straightforward request. It's an interesting request. Is there any reason that the White House wouldn't help the rest of us know whether Stone was spied on? Well, first, I want to make sure it's understood that I, I'm not in contact with Roger Stone. He's my best friend. But the court won't allow me to speak to him. I haven't spoken to him or contacted him in any way since the day he was arrested. And, and let, let me just say, since I think we have a First Amendment still in this country, I don't know if we do. the judge acknowledges that. Why in the world I don't. could a judge tell you who you can talk to as an adult taxpayer in this country? Right. And, and of course, I've never, they didn't ever send me to the grand jury, the Mueller team. I'm not on any witness list. But for some reason... I think it's vindictive. We're not allowed to speak to each other. Roger and I have known each other for 30 plus years. Sometimes we talk six or seven times a day. He talks me off the ceiling. I talk him off the ceiling in stressful times. Uh, but I haven't spoken to him since the day I was, that he was arrested. I'm still kind of shocked about that. But I can tell you, I really believe that what the, the attorney for Roger Stone requested should be granted. In, in my opinion, uh, it's not just Roger Stone, it's, it's Carter Page whose, uh, uh, you know, surveillance documents need to be revealed. I mean, uh, Ro Roger may not, you know, by the time this investigation of the Department of Justice is over, which is when we might see this material at the earliest, Roger Stone's trial may already be over. In fact, it probably will be. So, you know, you know uh, unredacting them and releasing them at that point doesn't help Roger Stone at all, doesn't reveal uh, all of the chicanery and, and, and uh, probably law-breaking that went into surveilling Roger Stone. But it's the same with Carter Page. And by the way, General Flynn in some way, shape, or form as well. There, are a lot, right. there was a lot of surveillance going on, and we need to know what it is, and we need to know now. Why wouldn't the White House help us know? I, that's what I don't understand. And General Flynn, you're exactly right. I mean, the Trump campaign was spied upon by the Obama administration. We know this. So why don't we have the right to know the details of it? Well, I, I, a lot of this I don't understand, because if you remember about three, four months ago, the president said he was all set to, to declassify FISA documents and demanded email or, or text messages between all the different FBI agents who were, who were plant, you know, plotting this whole uh, hoax. Uh, and we never saw that stuff. A, a lot of this stuff I, I, I don't understand, but I'm sure the president has a plan. You know, I've just visited the president in the Oval Office recently, and without, you know, we, we didn't talk about Roger Stone. We were both careful not to. The president knows he's my best friend, and I know I, I met the president through Roger Stone in 1988. I know he's close with Roger. We were careful not even to mention his name. But I think the president's paying very close attention to this, and that what the, you know, the letter from the lawyer, I think he might heed it. I mean, I, let me tell you something. He and the, uh, and the first lady knew chapter and verse of what my family went through. And yeah. I know the president's paying attention to far more people than just us. Yeah. It'd be nice to see some pardons. A pardon of Roger Stone to begin. Uh, Michael, great well, to see I'm, you Well, I'm real worried about Don Jr. with this Senate committee. I really I am. I agree. The whole thing is insane. It rolls on. It is. Zombie investigation. Great to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Tucker.